Hi, I'm Kirsty, and this is my husband Julian. We are passionate sailors and love a good project. Over six months ago, we bought our new project boat, a Zestin 40. Through juggling home life and bringing up a two year old, follow our journey as we refit the Zestin 40 in our aims to sail around Australia.
So during the last episode, Jules had started putting down our cork flooring. Now the look of the cork flooring looks fantastic. It's quite a light color, but the only problem that we have really found is that it is really soft and even the slightest instrument or tool dropped on it does dent it. It's not got the clear coating on just yet, but we're just flagging the issue right now. And while we've got the boat on the hard and obviously in pieces, if we're gonna find a solution for it, we've got to do it now. So we have decided to put another layer of cork down, slightly harder, this one actually in tiles. So the last, or the first layer that we've got down was actually put down in sheets, which was nice and easy to put down. Jules found that quite easy and obviously being quite soft to cut it and shape it onto the flooring was not that big a deal, but it is soft. So we've gone for a tile version which is slightly harder, but it's got more of a grain through it, a bit more of a texture, and it's slightly darker. So it's not my favorite, but once it's cleared, the actual texture of it, we won't be able to see as much. And my plan is to actually, to get some custom made rugs put through the boat, mainly to collect any dust and dirt that we bring into the boat so we can take it outside, give it a beating and a clean and also just be a bit more comfortable on the foot. The one thing we have noticed is the insulation we're getting from the cork is amazing. The cork is lovely to walk on and the actual heat that we're getting off the cork is really great. So from that decision, we've made the right decision, but we're gonna have to basically go a little bit different than what we initially planned with a double layering in the cork, but using tiles. So here's our gunnel. Last time this was all timber. Um, glue it up underneath this glass glass flange we have here. Um, since then I've glassed off the boat, up across the bottom of the timber and up the sides and then also glassed off the top and back down the sides. So um, this outside edge ended up with four layers of glass opposed to just two on this underside onto the hull. Uh, I've done that just for the fact that this will eventually get a stainless rub strip put on and when you park in the boat, if you're going to um, rub or hit anything, it's probably going to be this part of the boat. So um, just doubling up on the glass there for extra strength. Uh, all the glassing again done in vinyl ester. Um, yes, epoxy would have been maybe slightly stronger but I've kept it all vinyl ester because the inside of the boat here so the cabin and the bulwarks here it's all flow or gel coat and uh, this gunnel here I want to try and keep flow coat um, just because ropes are going to get pulled over the edge here, this is going to get knocked around. Flaco, it's a lot harder wearing, doesn't scratch as easy. Um, and then the top sides will eventually be painted in two pack. So we'll end up doing a paint join, probably through the middle here somewhere, which will eventually get covered up by a stainless strip. So once glassed, do a tidy up with the grinder, got rid of all the fluffy bits of glass and um, fared in the best I could. And I've um, had a mixture here of flow coat, Q cells, and talcum powder. Um, mix that up into uh, sort of a, a thick paste and spatula that on to give me something to sand and help fare this out. I've used a mixture of talc and Q-cells, um, reason being talcum powder dries quite hard and it's got quite good compressive strength 
Q-cells is quite soft and easy to sand. I didn't want to go just straight Q-cells here, um, because if I did, it would have been a lot easier to fair in and sand. But this is potentially going to be a high wear area of the boat. And uh, if you get a rope drag over the edge here or um, bump into something, the Q-cells would damage a lot easier where talcum powder not so much being a lot harder so I've used a mixture of the two just to um, make it a bit easier to sand but still keep plenty of strength um, in the filler for being able to get knocked around these are the devices I've been using to sand with got a little mini ferro board big long one this one, them two, or this one and, and uh, both this one and that one are quite stiff and hold quite straight. And then another long one here that's quite flexible. I've been using that with 36 grit sandpaper. Nice and coarse, makes it a lot easier to sand. And then um, eventually once this is close, we'll go to a fine grade paper. To try and sand out some of the scratches the 36 leaving behind. These two edges here, here and here, these will eventually get little rounds put on them. For now, I'm keeping them straight. I'm not putting the rounds in now. I'll wait until this is 85% finished and I'm happy with how fair and straight all my lines are looking and then I'll put the rounds on. The uh, reason for doing that is it's a lot easier to see with a sharp edge see how fair by just by eye see how fair all this is starting to look and um, to identify any lows or highs that need either feeling or feeling more or sanding more and if you start doing the rounds now it just ends up making a big bumpy mess and um, a lot harder to get a nice true straight line through the gunner left.
Join us next week to see our cork floor finally finished, along with Jules and I both taking on installing our new lining inside the boat. If you liked the video, hit thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell to receive any notifications of upcoming episodes.